Okay, I'm going to show you how to approach installing a light kit in a brand new trailer. This is a 2022 and it's brand new. So, first thing you do, you take off the door, then you take off the slant board. And I'm installing a closet as well, so I cut the slant board down so it fits inside the frame. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook the wiring up to the wiring in the trailer which is there and then the switch is going to go around this vent pipe and i'm going to show you how that works in a few minutes so that's what we're going to do okay i'm going to show you how to set this up to put in this is the switch got a button right there and what you need to do is you need to take these wires and you need to basically kind of stuff them in the hole. It's got a hole designed to hold them. And then this wire is designed to be stuck in that uh, slot and come out the bottom right there. And it goes against the vent pipe like this. And then this thing has zip tie channels in it that allow the, you to put a zip tie and tighten it. So what you want to do is you want to orient the zip tie like this. You want it to be oriented like this. At least this is the way I do it. So, so you orient your zip tie that way. You stick it in this uh, channel that is designed into the part. And then the, the zip tie will come out inside the hole. And what, what I do is I usually get a, like a little screwdriver or something and direct it to where it goes kind of on top, kind of on top. So when you do the deal like that, it kind of goes on top of the wire and then it comes out the other side and I keep this deal fairly short and this one long so that these can slip around the vent pipe and then I can then after I get it around I can stick it in here and tighten it up so that's how I do it and so what and this is the first step in doing the light kit is you gotta you gotta hook these you gotta get these together with the zip ties There we go. So I got that. I got them both ready to go. So that's, that's, this is ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this up on the post, on the vent, and I'm gonna um, put these around behind the, the vent and then make sure they're lined up with each other and then I'm gonna tighten them and then the switch will be on. And then you run the wire down the vent pipe and you tie it to the vent pipe with another zip tie to help control wires. And then after you get, after that set, then you're ready to start wiring in the trailer. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna mount the switch. After you get these set, it will look like this. These have to be facing out and I keep these long. And sometimes you need to start a little bit lower down on the vent pipe to get these to go around it. The vent, some of the vent pipes are real tight against the carpet, so it helps to start a little bit lower down. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and get the zip ties started. Okay, so what I did is I ran the zip ties behind and then I've tightened these kind of up. I've tightened them fairly tight so the thing 
and it fits right up here underneath this um, medicine uh, cabinet that's in the bathroom. On the older trailers, what you need to do is get it about the same height and just get it where it doesn't uh, interfere with the door locking mechanism. That's the only thing you got to worry about. So now I'm going to route the wire down here. I'm going to put a zip tie down here for wire management and then we'll continue on from there. Okay, the type of connector we're going to use is a Wago connector and it's the three wire Wago connector. They have three and five. This is a three. On the side of it is a strip gauge and it's, it's a 13 millimeter. It's right on the side right here. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but it's 13 millimeter. So you need to strip your wire back that far. And then what it does is these little levers, the levers open like that. You put the wire in all the way and then you press that back down over the wire and that's how it locks the wire in. And what you wanna do is when you put the wire in and lock it down, you wanna pull on the wire to make sure that it's tight and it doesn't slip out. If it does, reset it. Because you don't want that loose. You want them to be tight. So that's how this connector that's going to connect to that white wire, this is the type we're going to use. And it's included in the kit. It's already uh, uh, on the wire that we're wiring the switch up with. It's already on it. So that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to explain how the wiring works. In this particular one, the wires are tied with this strap over here and a Sometimes they're like, it's like further over here and it's kind of in the way. But in this one, I don't think it's going to be in the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're, we want to look for the biggest white wire. And because this trailer has this fuse, we're going to hook the power to the fuse. So the power is going to come from here and the ground is going to come from here. So ground is white in a casita and red or black is uh, hot in a casita. And the uh, there's enough uh, wire here where I can use it. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it on the top of the arc and we're going to strip the wire back and uh, put in a uh, uh, a connector that we can connect the wiring to the switch. So wiring up the switch is the very first thing we're going to work on. So that's and in a trailer where you don't have the fuse, what you do is you find the biggest white wire for ground and you find the biggest black wire for power. So not all trailers are going to have the fuses, especially the old ones, they're not going to have them. And even some of the new ones uh, I've noticed don't necessarily have a fuse. So you're going to find the biggest black wire and the biggest white wire and you're going one at a time you're going to tap into them and put the connector on it. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. I've ran the wire down. I've zip tied it to the vent and I've run it down here and I'm going to connect my wires up. All of, most of your wire management has already been taken care of for you in the kit. This box uh, combines all of the wiring in a neat package, which is going to zip tie to the wire bundle. And the way this works is the ground wire is the green wire. That's going to go to the white. The red wire has a ring terminal. That's going to go on the fuse block. And then this is a plug-in connector that plugs into the light that after we get the closet in, the other end of this will come through the base of the closet and then it basically plugs in and there you go. So that's how we're gonna do it. So now we're gonna wire this up and I'll show you what that looks like also. 
one more thing you want to do these one at a time so do each of them individually get them connected then do the other one because you don't want to short anything you just want to do them one at a time okay I'm going to show you I've got these wires stripped and I'm going to show you how this works how you connect it so I've got them stripped you put it in the Wago connector put the clip down yank on it make sure it's tight put in the next wire in the second hole I didn't catch There we go pull on it check it that's it okay that's connected so that's what a connected way wago looks like right there and it's tight all the connections are good okay so now what they've done I need to do the hot wire so I'm going to get a socket. It's a 3 8 socket. And I'm going to undo. You can use any either one of these terminals. And then you want to tighten this. There we go. It's tight. Now what you want to do is you want to check your work. So what you want to do is you want to go up here to where your switch is and you want to turn it on and you notice the blue light comes on. That means it's working. That means everything is correct. So we can um, continue forward on this. So it's hooked up correctly. That means it's operating. So what will happen is I'm going to zip tie. They made some nice zip tie uh, holes here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this wiring bundle. I'm going to zip tie this all together and tie this together neatly. And then this wire will go beside my frame to hold it out of the way. So wire management for that will, the frame of the closet will help with that. Okay, I got this zip tied to the wire bundle. So there we go. So we know it works. If your blue light does not turn on, you know something's wrong and you need to check your work and make sure that connections are good. Because uh, if the blue light doesn't come on, there's something wrong. And then you need to correct it before you go any further. So that's that. So, and then we have this plug that's going to plug in the light. So the ne after I put the closet in, and we get the light strip uh, ready to be put on, we will simply plug it in and then that's it. And the lights will work. So that's it. So I'm going to start putting the closet in now. If you're doing an install in an existing trailer with the closet already in place, the only difference in the install is that the little 
control box that has all the wiring in it, uh, you will have to take the four wires off, and I'll show you that, so that you can uh, thread your wire down here and then get it over to the back to the where the wire bundle is to connect everything up and you'll have to reconnect to your control box and I'll show you the control box and what you take off I'll show you that uh, in a sec okay so if you're doing the install in an existing trailer what you'll need to do is you'll need to take this control box apart comes apart and this little board uh, comes out but it goes on those pegs and what you'll need to do is disconnect these four wires and on the board it's marked the colors are marked so it's red black white and green and the letters are on there if you think you might forget uh, take a picture of this and then put them back the same way So what you do is you get a little screwdriver and take these off uh, Feed your wire down and all the way to where your wires are and then reconnect them to this box put the lid back on the control box And then when you zip tie it to your wire bundle, it'll all be held nicely. And then you won't have to worry about it. It'll Everything will work. So it comes like this with everything connected. But for the existing trailers, I, I haven't seen... I mean, there might be some where this will fit next to the vent pipe. But um, I like to feed it down at the back of the I mean toward the toward the wall of the closet I like to feed it down there so um, that's just that's just what I like to do so I that's what I typically do is disconnect it and then reconnect it and then put it together and then you're all set and you you wire up your light kit the same way as I just did put your entire closet in place this strip is not screwed yet and your light kit is going to actually go onto this so what you want to do is you install the entire closet get it installed and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold this in place and mark the back of it and the, the corner of it because what you're going to want to do is drill a half inch hole behind it that's where your wire is going to come up so you gotta hold this in place mark it should have a mark then you need a half inch drill and you're going to drill a hole kind of in the middle behind it uh, and then the wire will be hidden and then after you get your light kit on here, you install it with your screws to, to support the uh, strip just like usual. And then, but before you do that, you put the plug down in the hole and you can, you can actually plug the light kit in if you want. You can turn it on uh, if you want. But yeah, so you, you thread the wire down before you attach it and then get it in place and then uh, then install all your screws on your support strip and then your light kit will be installed so that's basically how so I'm going to drill a half inch hole now there I drilled my half inch hole I'm ready for the plug to go down underneath the base so now we're going to take and uh, prepare the strip put the lights on it and then screw that on and then uh, continue putting the rest of the closet together hi I'm Katie with Katie's Casita closets and Rosebud's travels and I'm going to show you how to assemble 
the parts of the light that go on the support in the closet. So let's get started. First, let me tell you about the pieces that you see sitting here. Here's the main support that comes with your closet kit. And then these other parts are parts for the light and tools needed to do the install. These little pieces are clips that attach to the support pole. These are little, what are they? Zip ties. Zip ties, zip ties, that help secure the light, this part, to the clips. And these little straight pieces, they're used to keep the light going straight and looking attractive on the pole. So the first order of business is to assemble the clips with the little zip ties. All right, so there's seven of these clips and each clip gets two zip ties and they're put into the clip in a particular way. There's a wonderful little pocket that was engineered by Little Home on the Road to carry the zip tie. And what you do is the zip tie has a square end and it fits nicely into the pocket. So you face the zip tie so the bigger part of the square faces out this direction away from the channel here. And you just slip the zip tie through this nifty little slot just like that. There's two of these little slot things on each clip. So again, I take the zip tie and I orient the little box on the zip tie so that it faces away from the channel that the light rides in. And I slip, push the zip tie in and it comes out through this channel that was made for it. So this is a completed clip. And you do that I seven times. I repeat it with each of the seven clips. So let's do another one rather quickly. Zip tie oriented so the box part faces away from the channel that the light rides in. And just slide it into the little slot. Over on this side, little box faces away from the light channel. Push the zip tie through the hole that was made specially for it and out it comes. There you go. All right, so now we're gonna attach these clips to the support post. You'll notice that the support post has a rounded edge. This is the part that faces forward and to the left when you're looking at the closet. And then the other edge is square. The clip has a rounded inside edge and a square edge as well. So that helps us position it correctly. The very first clip goes on right below the screw hole that's closest to the bottom of the closet system. And you have to apply a little pressure. That's one of the reasons I'm wearing these gloves, keeps my hands protected. And it fits very snugly on the piece, just like that. The next piece, these, we use these little blocks as spacers, gets put below the first one. Is that a long one or a short one? This is a short one. Two of these sticks are, are shorter because they're used up at the top of the kit of the pole. The rest of the strips are no, all the same. The one length. you're using, is it a long one or a short It's one? a long one. Okay. The two strips don't use a long strip. I mean, don't use a short strip. The short strips have a specific spot to go. Okay, so you'll notice I'm using this strip to space these out. These are the, these are stiffeners for the light, but they serve another function. And again, have to give it a little push and now it's secure. Then I move up using the strip again to space the rest of the, the um, 
clips in place. So you don't want it tight completely, but you want it close. There we go. And I don't know if I said it yet, but I wear gloves when I do this because I like to protect my hands from getting cut or messed up. So here's piece number four, clip number four. Space it away a little bit. There we go. Next piece. Curved side goes over the curved side of the piece. All the clips are installed facing the front. You do need to use a little pressure that's to get the clip on. That's because it needs to fit very securely. And the last piece, uh, the last clip is spaced out by one of the short strips. Notice there's a long strip and a short strip. That'll work. And just uh, clip it on. I'm applying pressure on the part of the clip that curves upward and that way it forces the little part that holds the, the pole securely. All right, so, all right, so let's space the last clip out. That should work. There we go, all right. Clips are all on. Now the next step is putting the lights into the slots. The light is in this really nice, super flexible, long roll, and it's cut to length. Little Home on the Road does it all for us. And what we do is we face the light the light part, which is the kind of more clear colored, away. We slide it into the slot. There, where the wires come off goes, the little part goes very, very close to the first clip. Notice I'm trying to hold it pretty straight here. I'm going all along the edge here from clip to clip, trying to keep the light really nice and straight. all the way up to the top. And at the top, we make a little turn. Okay, so when we get to the top, we're gonna make kind of a swoopy turn. Technically, the light could face either way, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the light face into the closet uh, shelf area because that's what we want lit up. And we want the back of the light to be facing up towards us because the light needs to be positioned in the clips that face towards the back shelf. This is a little tricky, but bear with me. We're going to go back to the bottom edge, keeping the light strip oriented properly, and we're going to put, we're going to start from this side on the bottom as well, sliding the light into the slot again here, making sure that the light faces towards the shelves and working our way up. And 
all the way up. And I do my best to keep the light straight between the clips because it's very flexible. We're all the way back at the top. And there we have it. The clip is in the right place. The light's in the right place in the clip. The next step is to come back with these little straight edge th straighteners that help keep the light straight. So we come along, they're made to fit the little, uh, the light strip just nests right in there and I slide the strip onto the light. It's a little tricky. You may end up pulling the light out of the clip, but that's okay. What this little piece is, is about making things pretty because the light looks nicer if it's all in a very straight row. There we go, the first piece is on. Let's see, keep my short ones separate. Where did I put the other short one? Is that it? Yeah, okay. So she's going to do this multiple times, each spot with the long strip. I'm going to take my gloves off for this. It's a little fiddly in my... And if, you know, the thing about these, they're plastic. If they need to be cut, you can cut them with a cutter. You need to make them a, shorter. Yeah, if they need to be shorter, they can be cut. Because you got your clips too close together, that can happen. Right, that's a possibility sometimes, but... This one I think is going to work out where it's going to be fine. Yeah. But that we'll we'll come back uh, after she gets all of the straight edges on. Uh, we'll come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay. All right. So now we have the light kit assembled with the stiffener parts. So see how the light kit that faces the where the back shelves are, the light is going to face towards the shelf. And this side of the light faces towards the shelves along the side wall. Now we need to get these little zip ties assembled. So just pull the zip tie through. You can do this by hand. Just go around and pull them all through. Like that. I'll just do a few of them here. And then we're going to take a pair of needle nose pliers. I'm going to tighten the zip tie up nice and snug. Like that. I'm going to slide it around so the little box goes into the slot made just for it. Then I'm going to take the nippers. Well. Either I'm a wimp or the nippers aren't sharp. Let me use the clipper on the needle nose pliers. Or this clipper. Lewis says, use this clipper. It's a manly clipper. Well, it'll work too. At any rate, just going to clip off that excess plastic there. And see how nice and tidy that is. Let's One more time. Do it again. So we're going to tighten up the zip tie till it's nice and snug. Actually, it, it'll actually put a little bitty indentation in the um, in the light in the uh, light. Yeah, in the light strip. Now hold it secure. See, that'll cut it. There you go. One step. So you keep doing that on every one of them, and right. that will uh, that's actually that gets it done, and then it's ready to install in the casita. So we'll get to that in just a sec. Okay, we got our uh, light strip put together. 
Katie finished all of the zip ties and all that. So what we do is we bring it in the trailer. We run this plug-in through the half-inch hole that we drilled earlier. And that goes down underneath the, the uh, base. And then what we're going to do is we're going to screw this support strip on with the screws that come with the kit to put the, uh, the support strip on. So what I'm going to do is get my drill with the Phillips and I'm going to start screwing this on. So I put in one of the screws. I'm going to go ahead and come down here. I'm going to move the slant board and as you can see it hangs down here and we have a male and female and we plug the light kit in like that with the slant board back close the hatch turn on the switch and there you go so now I can finish the install of the light kit by screwing it to the shelves like we typically we screw the support strip on there anyway. So that's what we're going to do. And then after I'm done with that, it'll be that'll be installed. And then I got to screw the rest of the shelves on, put the door on, and this install will be complete. So that's how to do the light kit as you're installing the closet.